Dream Syntax here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Shadow the Hedgehog Reloaded 1.0 mod. In the description of the latest video, push the GitHub link. That'll take you here. And here it warns you you need a 1 to 1 Shadow the Hedgehog GameCube USA ISO with this MD5. Make sure you're doing that, otherwise the patch is going to fail. In here, there's actually just a link to a Google Drive, so I'm going to open that up. You want to push this top right button so you can actually see which version you're downloading. You either want the widescreen version or the original aspect version. If you're playing on Dolphin, I highly recommend the widescreen version, and if you're playing on console, I recommend the original aspect, but it's up to you. You can play on either one, either way. I'm also going to grab the optional cheats and Dolphin add-ons since I'm going to be playing on Dolphin. If you don't already have Dolphin, you need to go to dolphinmu.org, and I would recommend downloading the latest development version or the latest beta version. It's your call. Do not get 5.0 stable. It's so old at this point. If there's a 6.0 stable, though, go for it. It's not out at the time of this recording, but maybe it'll be soon. Who knows? All right, once that's all downloaded, go ahead and extract it. So you should have these and all extracted now. In the ISO patcher of your choice, open that up. And you need to go bring your Goop 8P ISO here before you run this patcher. If you're on Linux, you run this. If you're on Mac, you run this. Windows this. Pretty self-explanatory. If for some reason your ISO is named like Shadow USA, that's fine. You just need to rename it Goop8P.ISO like this. If it's an end kit, though, you need to unpack it to ISO format before this patch will work. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. All right, perfect. So everything's good now, and you'll see the Shadow the Hedgehog reloaded version 1.0.iso file if everything was successful. And in your old folder here is your untouched ISO in case you didn't copy it if you moved it for some reason. It's safe. It didn't get overwritten. So I'm going to grab this, move it to my folder. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Dolphin. This is my first time running it on this computer. This is going to be a fresh Dolphin. So I need to go ahead and configure my paths. There we go. If you see this reloaded banner, everything's good. You can technically run the game, but wait, before you just stop the video, right click this, choose properties, and enable speed up disk transfer rate. Trust me on this. Plus loading times will be much, much better. So please enable this, it's critical. At this point though, you're good to go. If you wanna just run the game, go for it. But you're not quite done if you wanna have all the nice enhancements and you want the game to be running at a crispy 60 FPS all the time, which doesn't happen originally. So let's get into that. So let's go back to this Dolphin add-ons folder here and grab the README, which tells you you need to put everything in the slash load folder. And if you're on portable, it's user slash load. I'm going to grab these two. Go to the Dolphin emulator folder, load and paste. Um, and also, since I grabbed the optional cheats, I might as well do that as well. And this just tells you you need to put it in the game settings area. So I'm going to do that. And this already exists because I did the right-click properties and set this. That's why it's here. It's fine to overwrite, though, because it uh, it actually already has it configured at the very bottom here. Alrighty, so if I go to properties again, this time I should see some gecko codes. Perfect. And if I go to graphics mods, I'll also see this. This is what you want to enable. And before that'll work, though, you need to go to this graphics tab here, go to advanced, and turn on enable graphics mods. And you also want enable custom textures and possibly prefetch. It's your call here. You could not have this. I personally have both on. And from here, technically the rest is your preference. But if you want the best performance and you're on Windows, use Direct3D11. Just trust me on this. I've done a ton of experimenting for this specific game. You want Direct3D11. If you're on Linux, you want Vulkan. If you're on Mac, you want Vulkan. Uh, it's not going to run quite as good as Direct3D11, but it'll be pretty close. Uh, since I'm using the widescreen patch version, I'm going to choose Force 16x9. Although auto will actually work, but I'm just going to not mess with it. I'm going to say show FPS, uh, it's just a personal preference. Uh, if you have a non-high refresh rate monitor, you probably want this, otherwise you might see some tearing. This is still critical for performance, so go to hacks here and turn this and this on. And this, though really these two are the big ones. That'll have a huge performance difference, it's totally worth it, trust me on this. Under config, you want to go to the advanced tab and choose this emulated CPU clock override. This is CPU dependent, so if your CPU isn't quite as new, it might make your game run worse, so please experiment with this while the game is running. But I personally recommend for this mod at least 165%. If your CPU is a little bit older but it can still handle the clock, maybe try 132%, but you definitely want to be running more than 100% clock for this specific mod. So in my case, I'm just going to leave it at 165. If your CPU is new enough, I would recommend actually turning dual core off as this will lead to more dolphin crashes, but if it's older, you can leave it on. It's not going to cause too many issues. In this case, I'm going to leave it on just for the heck of it. 
That's about it as far as performance boosts. I'm gonna go ahead and set my internal resolution to 3x just as a preference, but that obviously will make your performance run worse if your GPU can't handle it. In my case, I can. And I think at that point, I'm good to go. The only other thing is I would want cheats on if I want to use any of the preferences. In my case, I think I'm going to turn on the No Idle Chaos Powers music. So at this point, I think I'm going to launch the game. There is one catch. At the moment, with the graphics mods, Dolphin does not let you keep Vertex Rounding off. It's going to always enable it. So you need to turn it off while the game is running. So see this terrible, terrible tearing happening right here? That's because the graphics mod is off, so once I turn that on... Boom, now it's just this tiny little sliver on the left. And obviously if you have Vertex Rounding on, that's just going to be gone entirely. However, at the cost of Bloom being slightly offset to the top left. 